Hello and welcome. This paper is titled Linked Data Ground Truth for Quantitative and Qualitative Evaluation of Explanations for Relational Graph Convolutional Network Link Prediction on Knowledge Graphs. This is joint work with Nicholas Allowell, Fabian Gando, and Freddie LeCoup. This presentation is outlined as follows. First, we will discuss explainable link prediction using relational graph convolutional networks. We will then discuss explanation methods shortcomings in our proposed solution. Then we discuss benchmarking state-of-the-art explanation methods using the proposed dataset and metric. Lastly, we discuss an error analysis performed on these explanation methods. A relational graph convolutional network is an amputation of graph neural networks specifically for knowledge graphs. This model learns a d-dimensional vector representation for each node and relation in a knowledge graph. This model takes as input an adjacency matrix in a given input triple and outputs the probability that the given input triple is a fact. Recently, several algorithms have been proposed to explain the predictions of black box graph neural networks. There is explain E, where for a given node pair IJ and a candidate explanation pair KL, Explain E computes the gradient of the scoring function for pair IJ with respect to the input adjacency matrix at KL. Additionally, there is GNN Explainer, designed specifically for graph neural networks. GNN Explainer learns a mask over the input adjacency matrix to identify a relevant subgraph. This is done by minimizing the cross entropy between a prediction made using the unmasked adjacency matrix and a prediction made using the masked adjacency matrix. What both of these algorithms have in common is that they can return explanations in the form of a subgraph to the user, and they can be applied to an RGCN post hoc. Now we will address the shortcomings of these explanation methods. The weak point of explaining in GNN Explainer is the empirical evaluation of explanation quality. Comparisons amongst these algorithms is difficult, as these papers do not use the same data set or scoring metric. In fact, there are no common data sets available to measure explanation quality. Additionally, there are no standard scoring metrics to quantify performance. Our proposed solution is to construct a general approach to building data sets with explanations, where each observation has one and only one associated explanation. In order to do this, we use an open source semantic reasoner, CoreS, to build a data set with explanations using rules. Using this semantic reasoner, we can, for example, define the grand parent relation using the parent of a parent. CoreS will then generate new triples in our dataset whenever this rule is triggered. Take two triples in our graph. Princess Marie Anne has parent Louis XIV, and Louis XIV has parent Anne of Austria. Using rules in CoreS, we can construct a new triple. Princess Marie Anne has grandparent Anne of Austria. This triple is a fact because Anne of Austria is the parent of Princess Marie Anne's parent. This is just one example of a triple generated by a has grandparent rule. In this work, we use CoreS to generate triples whenever a rule is triggered, and rules are designed such that each observation has one and only one explanation. In this work, we construct two datasets, the Royalty 20K and Royalty 30K, focusing on four unique relations, has spouse, has successor, has predecessor, and has grandparent. Included with every triple in the training and test set is the explanation for why a link could exist between the two entities. This table gives a breakdown of the royalty data sets. We can see the predicate, the number of triples with that predicate, and the number of unique entities. The explanation cardinality denotes the number of triples in the explanation, and the predicate property describes the explanation structure. We use the royalty datasets to benchmark two state-of-the-art explanation methods, explainy and GNN explainer. To measure the quality of explanations from these methods, we use the Jacquard similarity to compare predicted and ground truth explanations. We also report the precision, recall, and F1 score. The results of the benchmark can be seen in this table. The top row shows link prediction performance on the RGCN. We show performance on subsets of the data using only one predicate and on the full data set. For example, 
on the has spouse subset, containing only has spouse triples and their explanations. Explainy has a Jacquard score of 0 0.388. We find that on all subsets, Explainy outperformed GNN Explainer in terms of the Jacquard score. We perform an error analysis on predicted explanations with a Jacquard score strictly less than one. This table reports the most frequently predicted predicates amongst errors and the percentage of errors this predicate occurred in. For example, on the Royalty 30K dataset, on the has grandparent subset, has parent occurred in 54% of errors for explaining, meaning the predicate was correctly predicted in the explanation, but one or both of the entities were incorrect. This table shows explaining's most frequently missing predicate, where each row represents a predicate subset, the ground truth predicate, and the percentage of triples not containing the ground truth predicates. For example, on the royalty 20k dataset, on the has spouse subset, the percentage missing is zero, meaning each prediction contained the has spouse relation, but incorrectly predicted one or both of the entities. Lastly, we report predicate frequency counts on incorrectly predicted explanations, where we can see GNN explainers' errors were more uniform, and explainers' errors were more focused on the input predicate. In conclusion, we showed that pinpointing can be used to generate explanations. Both explaining and GNN explainer lack a common dataset and evaluation metric to compare against. We propose the royalty datasets that include a unique explanation for each observation and propose the use of the Jacquard similarity for explanation evaluation. Lastly, we found that explaining outperformed GNN explainer on these datasets and performance metric. Thank you.